Hello, this is Dr. Claire Fitzpatrick, and um, I got a request about knee pain and what we can do while we're at home and not seeing other chiropractors or physical therapists, and we still need to take care of knee pain. So knee pain is very difficult to, to diagnose without a doctor looking at it. So I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that the knee pain is not caused from a meniscal tear, is not caused from bone on bone arthritis, but instead has happened because of maybe ramping up your exercise routine or your it's something more simple that can be dealt with at home before getting uh, having to see a doctor about it. So I'm gonna make that disclaimer before I show you things. So knees are wonderful and they are caught in the middle between ankles and the pelvis. And because they are, it can, uh, if there's a, a shifting in the pelvis or in the ankle or the way that you're walking because you need to get adjusted and your nervous system is not firing evenly between muscles, the knee joints can get uh, agitated and irritated. And um, I'm going to show you some things that you can do to try to loosen that up. Uh, I shot this video before, but I had shorts on and I put the phone at an embarrassing angle. So I'm going to try to not do that <laughs> this time. I put on a different pair of shorts and uh, I'm going to try to be more careful. So, all right. So let me just do a little quick anatomy of what I'm talking about. So here's the knee. And the knee has a bone here and another bone here. This is the tibia, this is the fibula. The fibula over here. Okay, the fibula is the skinny bone that goes all the way down to the ankle and it makes up the lateral calcaneus. So that's your ankle bone here. So sometimes this bone can get stuck and cause knee pain. So what you want to do, if you're pressing along here and it's tender, you want to move that. And how, what do we move it? You can put, you can feel the ridge of the bone with your thumb. And, it, and it, if it's tender when you're doing this, then you're, you're in the right area. So just gently, gently work your way down the leg. all the way to the ankle bone. And you can take coconut oil or some other nice uh, lotion and milk it down here. And you're thinking, yeah, but doc, my knee hurts. So why am I doing this? Because if this joint is stuck, then this joint and bunch of joints your kneecap, your patella, and everything is not going to fire right. So you want to make sure that this is nice and loose. So now, um, now we're up at the upper leg. So let's say that the problem isn't at the ankle. Let's say the problem is at the pelvis and your pelvis is actually kind of rotated because of what I just said before. Um, you can check the musculature leading to the knee and make sure that it's doing okay. So this is the outside. The, this is called the iliotibial band, the IT band. Mine is actually really super tight now that I'm looking at it, but I need to get adjusted. Anyway, um, check down here at the insertion point, right by the side of the knee. Is that tender? And do you feel it all the way down your foot? There's a, that might be super tight. So what you would want to do is tap it. About 20 seconds. About the time that it takes to wash your hands of COVID-19. So happy birthday twice. <laughs> and find up here too. If that's tender, the middle of the band, tap that too. Same thing. 
You can also sort of pinch. Not like don't don't wrench it or anything like that. Treat yourself nicely. Just sort of gently pinching the whole area. And it might be around here too, on the side, right by the hip, if that's tender. Sort of tap that too, 20 seconds. That should help loosen that up a little bit without getting too crazy. All right, this is where I got in trouble before. So let me see if I can do the video nicely. All right, so let's say you're at the middle of your leg here. So there's a big bunch of muscles called the vastus medialis here. And sometimes if this is tight, it's going to pull the kneecap. So check here if that's tender. There, let's say. On me, it's tender. See, and tap that. Don't see how much I love you. I'm letting you see my flabby legs, so I can show you this. Is my white flabby legs. <laughs> and also take coconut oil, and rub down this way too. And the same thing, Just sort of pinch, all the way to the knee, past the knee. This is the insertion point. It's just below the knee. So do that. And also come to the top of the leg. This is one of the flexors. I don't know if I hope I can. Yeah, all right. And if it's tender along here, do the same thing. And also, now every when you massage yourself, start from the from closer to your trunk and move to the periphery, move down the leg, because you want to get the, the blood from the trunk down into the leg so that it can send oxygen to the area. So be forewarned, these things can make the area hurt before it starts getting better. So you need to give it a couple of days, like two or three days after you've messed around with it. I don't want you trying to adjust your knee yourself because that, that could be tricky. And especially, I don't want you to diagnose yourself. So if these things don't work for you in about three to four days, you need to go see your friendly neighborhood chiropractor. And by the way, I'm going to be back at work June 15th in my chiropractic office here. So the chiropractic offices are starting to open up again. So go see them because they miss you and they want to take care of you. And I know you've been locked up for two and a half months. So, and keep distancing. COVID is still out there. So keep, keep being smart when you get back out there in the world. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye.